bit of good news that we all heard today. I don't know whether it did, but uh, JBS Swift are going to start up their tablet of feedlot. Uh, I think we're going to start at the end of this month and hope to bring it back up to about 35,000 head of cattle. So I think the job itself, ladies and gentlemen, with a bit of rain in the north, it certainly sparked everything up. And I think the export job probably looked as strong as we've ever seen it for a long time. On the eve of the uh, long weekend, Weiner sales moved to uh, Myrtleford and uh, Dan Ivone from Paul and Scholar joins me. Dan, uh, wonderful lineup of cattle here for your annual sale. Um, uh, some uh, well grown out uh, steers up over the 400 kilos and a wonderful line of weaners. Uh, you'd be pretty happy with the uh, with the sale here today. It's a rise that uh, has been coming and uh, it's arrived. Yeah, Murray, uh, look, we added a bit over 1,800 calves um, and it, it's a tough job to hold calves till March. Like the money's there in January and there were, uh, a lot of vendors are sort of half thinking they should be selling them then, but I think we've got paid for keeping them. The results have been good. They've, they've got a bit of extra weight and, and a bit of a feedlot competition. So so uh, very happy with the result. Uh, probably not much change in the heifer job, but the steer job is very good. Yeah, three feedlots lined up along the front there today, and uh, talking to the travellers that have come down, there's a pick starting to emerge through northern New South Wales and the table ends. Uh, that was uh, very, very solid, around the dollar ninety. Yeah, Murray, um, I thought that the, uh, the heavier steers are dollar ninety, and then the next run of steers might have been sort of ninety-five to two dollars. But uh, yeah, that export market looks terrific. Uh, I think people realise that you know we're going to have to put a few away. Uh, so yeah, it helped our job. You know, um, we're not getting any rain here in the northeast. It's missing us, but, but uh, the locals are sort of, sort of still confident enough. Yeah, you said the heifer market wasn't uh, uh, that much here on recent improve rates, but a uh, dollar fifty-five to a dollar sixty would have been about the rate today. Yeah, look, that, that would be about it, I think. Um, a few cattle there bought to kill, but the uh, majority of them would be going in the background to, to feed on for that job later on, so through the winter. Um, but yeah, not a not a big change on what has been happening, I suppose. And, it's funny that everyone sort of thinks, uh, you know, when they get rain in the north, the heifer job's going to go through the roof, but it hasn't, it hasn't just yet. So. The second of Myr Myrtleford's uh, wiener sales was conducted on uh, Friday. Yes, sir, Stephen Street uh, joins me from Elders. Uh, Stephen, uh, just over the 700 and... 40 odd dollars for uh, the tops of your steers today at, uh, at uh, 411 kilos, um, uh, right up on the money and uh, feedlot competition. Yeah, Murray, yeah, right up, right up on the money, those uh, the bigger steers. Um, the strong feedlot competition, yes, and uh, it was good to see those steers go on and go into a feedlot and go out of the district um, and they'll they'll come back as a repeat buyer you know the quality the quality stood to the cattle yeah now uh, most of your other cattle uh, stayed within the local uh, northeast area the, the undertow of that improved uh, feedlot competition um, drew those uh, that th those buyers into higher prices too it did Murray it did uh, it's it's good to see this job lift from from three or four weeks ago where it was not not so good. Uh, the fat market has lifted, as we all know, for the better end of the cattle and also the feedlot price has probably come up 15 to 20 cents in the last three to four weeks. So that, of course, is, is also driving, driving the competition on the, on the, on the store calves here today. And most of those calves are, uh, are paddock bound. Um, they're going, they're going back into the paddock, uh, which is good to see some, some grazier competition with a little bit more strength than what we have seen in the past month because uh, uh, some people were, were rather scared to do much because of the way the price structure of the market was. Yeah, now you had one uh, uh, consignment of spring drop calves here today and uh, they've sold, uh, you know, to just over the $500. That's right, probably somewhere around about $2.08 eight to $2.12 a kilo. Uh, sounds, sounds a lot of money per kilo, but uh, marvellous, marvellous compensatory growth in those cattle. They go on, go on and grow into very, very good cattle.